new study has found the majority of recently arrived humanitarian refugees have found Australia to be a hospitable and welcoming place despite grappling with serious mental health issues. Most of the study's participants were offshore migrants, many of whom are still waiting to be reunited with their families. Compared to the fear and trauma they're used to, many refugees feel lucky they found a new home in Australia. The favourite thing about Australia is that many people dealing with you as a human, so humanity in their blood. Somali refugees Ahlam Sheikh Mohammed and Ibtisim Ahmed are among those whose experiences have been positive. They helped us uh, uh, build our confidence and find solutions. The Australian Institute of Family Studies has tracked the settlement experiences of 2,400 humanitarian migrants. They're a very diverse group. Um, the youngest age is 15 and the oldest age is 83. And they come from countries such as Iran, Iraq, Afghanistan, Burma, Sri Lanka and some of the African nations as well. 85% of participants were offshore arrivals interviewed within three to six months of being in Australia. 15% were onshore arrivals and interviewed within three to six months of being granted permanent protection visas. The study found that more than half always felt welcome and that 75% of those new arrivals are either working or studying. 80 to 90% said settling into Australia has been good or very good. But there's also a downside. 5% had experienced discrimination on the street, public transport or in their neighbourhoods. 13% said they had poor or very poor physical health. And 35% of men and 46% of women reported mental health problems. This is a group that's very vulnerable. They've had very difficult experiences. A majority of them have experienced a war, others of them have experienced persecution. Participants were also struggling to find and pay for housing. Though Ahlam and Ibtisim are still waiting for their protection visas to be processed, they're hopeful they too will soon be able to call Australia home. Sarah Arbo, SBS World News. Federal and state governments are on notice tonight to consult more widely among multicultural communities before appointing people to represent them. Outgoing New South Wales Community Relations Commission Chairman Vic Alhadef has stood by comments defending Israel's attacks on Gaza despite them forcing his resignation. It was an appointment that lasted just seven months. It ended after Vic Alhadef...